This right here is a 155,000 euro Porsche Panamera. Wow. So while previous generations of the Panamera weren't exactly bet down, this just seems to have the perfect lines like right across the front of the car. It just looks staggering. And don't get me started about these beautiful 21 inch alloy wheels that are diamond cut. They've even had to engineer stuff in the tires to make this work. I'll tell you more about it in the video. And when it comes to rears, this one looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now for those of you thinking, yeah, but it's a hybrid. It's meant to be a Porsche. Just bear with me on this. The hybrid version of this car as opposed to the full-on pure petrol one, is 30,000 euro cheaper and it's greener. So 155,000 euro, what do you get for that price? Well, included is the Porsche logo on the seats, although that was 500 euro per seat. Now this is truly a beautiful place to be. Everything in it, you just know it's taken time to design, and think of and physically make. Take, for example, this carbon fiber steering wheel. That wasn't standard, but it just feels so good. And the stitching and all the leather of the car is just so perfect. It's, you can just tell it took somebody hours to sit through that. They probably actually used a needle and thread. That's how amazing it looks. Even these little cup holders, you can push them down, but the standard ones don't come with this. They're just normal places that you can sink a drink into. These have been engineered to just look amazing, return real smoothly to where their starting point is. It's that level of engineering that goes into Porsches that just sets them apart. They're just different. And while the previous generation Panamera center console was, was fairly nice to look at, this just goes a bigger step ahead. Like, the switches are like something that you would get in a Bang & Lufsen hi-fi unit. Everything is haptics, touch screen, yeah, it gets full of smudges, who cares? It looks incredible. The 2,500 euro sports exhaust system can be controlled from the touch of a button on your touch screen here, and you can just turn it on, and it gets louder. You can pop up and down the spoiler by just pressing a button. So when you start this car up in the morning, let's say at five o'clock, and you don't want to wake the neighbors up because generally they're okay. You can start this car in full electric mode or hybrid mode, and it will completely, silently roll you out of the driveway. And then when you get around the corner and you get to the neighbors, they, you know, they're the ones that have the dog barking all night. You can just literally turn a switch and it just can come to life. So it's it's quite incredible how diverse a machine this is and the engineering. The grip in it is unreal. It's a Porsche. You know, what else is it going to be like? Now it is four wheel drive, but it's predominantly a rear wheel drive car and it will become four wheel drive as it needs grip. So you always feel like this car is planted at all times. So you can get, you know, 30 to 40 kilometers on a full charge from the car and you could use that around town and not actually use any juice. Now, if you want to charge it on the go from the actual car as opposed to an on-street charger or a plug-in, that's going to use some of your juice, extra juice as opposed to conserve for later. A bit like Porsche hibernating. Um, it's not really the reason you're going to buy a car like this though. So here we are now, I'm in hybrid mode and the car is pulling out of a junction where it doesn't need an awful lot of power and it's just completely silent. You know, this, this is what it would be like to be driving a Tesla. But the problem is Tesla can't make a car and they were back on power. Tesla can't make a car that looks this good, certainly on the inside, and I'd say on the outside as well. The way the double clutch system works is it always has one ready to go up or one ready to go down, so you're never, ever, even remotely waiting for a gear change. 
huge. It is just the, the ultimate driver's car. And then if you want to have space for things like other humans and you want to socialize with them and bring them places, well, it has room for you in this car as well. And it's got a massive boot. Is this not then the perfect all round car? I mean, the brakes. Oh, they're, they pull the skin off your face. They're that powerful. And the sports exhaust sounds absolutely beautiful. And you can go around corners like this and if you don't want to brake, that's okay. Because you don't have to. The car will stick to the road. The tyres I mentioned earlier on have foam in them because they're 21 inch alloy wheels and the tyres for grip and for noise and for handling have foam fitted to make the ride more comfortable. 465 brake horsepower, a V6 2.9 with a little bit of green inside it. I think that's very clever. You've got electronic damp control and the car actually moves up and down and you can feel it move up and down as you go through the different settings. You've got normal and then two levels of sport and you, like, you can really feel the difference. When you're in full-on sport mode, it's not an uncomfortable ride. You know, it's still nice and it's firm, but doesn't rattle the bones out of you. The point you mentioned down the pub, if you're lucky enough to own one of these cars, is the road tax is 170 euro. Yeah, that's that's you didn't you didn't mishear that. 100 and 70 euro for 12 months to tax this car. Sure, you give them VRT when you've spent 155,000 euro, but it also feels like you're kind of flipping the bird being able to tax something like this, with this much power, for 170 quid. That's genius. Here's to you, Shane Ross. When you let your foot off the accelerator, even just for a brief moment, you'll get a blip as the gears change. It's almost too loud for city centre environments where people will be looking around going, what the hell is that? Now, I haven't always felt as content and at home behind the wheel of a Porsche. In fact, I was once in one and things ended up like this. Now, I am always keen to point out that I wasn't the one driving but I can vouch for, you know, anybody that they are well put together. All wheels on this car will turn if required. And again, it just adds to the experience you feel as you turn into corners, where it just does it with such precision. And no matter what, uh, kind of turns or bends you throw with this car it's just as like yeah what you never get bored of that feeling of being shoved in your back <laughs> you know life is short and life is serious and cars like this for those lucky enough to be able to afford them or for those of us who wait till they're about 10 years old and the madness and the petrol head inside you decides I'll still buy it you know, they enrich your life. Yeah, this car isn't something that you're gonna see every day. Yeah, you're gonna be terrified to park it in Lidl in case some granny whacks a shopping trolley into it. But the pleasure cars like this give people who enjoy cars, you just can't rival that. It's amazing. This car is almost like it's got a split personality. It's a bit of a psycho car. Like, it will tear down a country road Put endless smiles on your face and then if you're driving along in traffic it's so easy to drive the 911s of old particularly a manual they were just hard work to try and deal with heavy traffic in this thing it's no bother if you want to just tip along quiet road you literally just touch that button car goes silent all you hear is the noise off the tires and it's so easy to drive and like it's just seamless how it makes the transition from 465 brake horsepower, R to just 
the only dial that's analog is the rev counter just to give you a nod to the fact that hey when i'm being really civilized and i'm stuck in rathgar and traffic and you're wondering what's for dinner don't forget that when you want you can bring me to the dublin mountains and i will be a porsche and this car can do all those things so before you turn your nose up at the fact that it's a it's a hybrid porsche just remember still a porsche launch control which is incredible press the button <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Nobby on Cars. As always, the biggest way you can support this channel is by hitting subscribe. And if you do that, I'll get to make more videos and more car brands will be featured in these videos. So please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet.